All right, so here's your configure your basic um, configuration for a Blake hitch using a figure eight for a termination knot at the anchor. Uh, oftentimes, a climber will ascend, get to a branch, and take a seat, pull themselves up on the branch, whatever they have to do to get to that seat. And you'll notice when that climber comes up and sits down and relaxes, that carabiner is going to be going everywhere because the tension is off of it. And when the tension is off of it, and when the tension is off of it, it could be sitting anywhere at that particular moment. And it could be sitting here on the gate. It could be sitting cross-loaded. That's what you wouldn't want to happen. It, there's ways to avoid that. You know, Zigzag had some recall issues, and it was basically because a carabiner got cross-loaded in the anchor and broke the anchor and the climber took a fall. You can see also that they have done some measures and you're seeing this quite often now but there's a rubber inset in this zigzag and they take measures now to try to get carabiners so that they stay oriented. Um, being oriented will be your assurance that if you put a load on that carabiner unexpectedly, it's going to be loaded properly. Here's another example on the rook pulley. They have also put rubber insets in there and taken measures so that that carabiner doesn't move around and stays in the position that you put it in. Here's that system with the traditional figure eight for those that uh, really like to have the figure eight. Another thought and a way to do this to keep uh, a cinched anchor on that carabiner so that it always stays oriented is to put a clove hitch on it. A toe clove hitch can be tied in the eye of that figure eight and won't allow the carabiner to move. It's easy enough to tie a clove hitch in line and it could easily be done in the eye of the figure eight. But to tie a clove hitch, you just tie a couple of left overhand loops, pass one behind the other. Put your carabiner anchor through there, and there's your clove hitch. And that could be done on the eye of the figure eight. Once it's tied, dressed, and set, makes a nice cinching knot to keep that carabiner from getting cross-loaded. Here's another option and still maintains the figure eight knot but it's pretty easy to put a girth hitch on the loop of the figure eight and it provides the cinching knot to keep the carabiner in place. Once some weight has been provided on that it will stay in place. This is an alternative to using the clove hitch. A clove hitch sometimes if you try to do it on the loop can end up getting a little bit of twist and it's a little more difficult to, pull, to uh, tie but here's, uh, here's another option. So below the figure eight you can put a clove hitch or you could do a girth hitch. Both. Another favorite is an anchor knot. It could be a scaffold knot. This is a particular knot is an anchor knot. Also a great knot to keep the carabiner oriented. Probably my favorite is the scaffold knot. Some may refer to it as a fisherman's knot. But a scaffold knot, I think, is probably one of the most secure and also, again, provides a cinching knot to the carabiner to maintain proper orientation.